Domain name transfers. How do you move a domain name from one registrar to another registrar? That's what we're talking about in this video. What's up everybody, my name is David, WebsiteCreatePro.com. So let's get to it. Now, moving a domain name is a simple and easy process. In this video, we're going to be basically moving a domain name from GoDaddy over to Namecheap, but the process is the same regardless of domain name registrar. So say if you have your domain names at Google Domain Names and you wanna move over to Dynadot or you have your domain names at Bluehost and you wanna move over to Namecheap, the process is basically the same. So step one is to go to your current domain name registrar star and then go into where you can manage the domain name itself and what you specifically want to do is you want to find where the status is and change it to unlocked okay so your domain name is going to have a status of locked and that means it's not able to be transferred just change the status to unlocked and then you're able to move the domain name to a new domain name registrar so that's step one step two is basically you need to get the verification code at your current domain name registrar you literally just need to find where it says verification code or something along the lines of that and you're going to get a long string of numbers and letters and that basically proves ownership over the domain name and that's basically it that's all you really need from your current domain name registrar you need to unlock it and you need to get this verification code next is then you want to go to where you want to move the domain name. So if you want to move over to like Namecheap, for example, you want to go to Namecheap.com. You want to click on where it says transfer domain names to us. And then there you just put in your the domain name that you want to move over and Namecheap will check the status of the domain name. So what that means, it'll tell you if it's the if the domain name is locked or unlocked. Now, if you just change the status at GoDaddy, it does take a little bit of time for that to propagate usually like 10 or 15 minutes. So don't expect it to be like right away. So you may go to Namecheap and it may be coming up that, hey, this domain name is locked. Just give it a little bit of time. And next you have to put in the verification code and then you just submit your payment and you sh- and that's it. You're good to go. Now also the, you have to just one caveat. You have to make sure that the domain name is eligible to be transferred. So what that means, like if you just registered a domain name somewhere, you're not able to move it to a new domain name registrar within the first 60 days. And you're also not able to transfer a domain name if it's within 45 days of its renewal date. Uh, I only bring that up because people often are have their domain names like GoDaddy or Bluehost, and then they're shocked, like, what, $18, $19 to, like, renew my domain name? Like, okay, I'm moving over to, like, Google domain names or Namecheap. And, well, you got to, like, make sure it's not within the 45 days. So if this is something that you want to do, make sure that uh, it has enough time on the domain name. All right, so if you need a little bit more of a guided walkthrough, uh, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So this is GoDaddy and this is Namecheap. So to just begin like a domain name transfer process, super duper simple. So like uh, if you had, say you have your domain names at GoDaddy, all you wanna do is log in to your account. So for example, I have edgeofdavid.com at GoDaddy and I'm actually currently moving this over to Namecheap. And so to the process of moving this domain name is you just wanna go over here and you wanna click on the button that says manage. And then once you click on manage, it'll open up the domain name settings and at the bottom right down here is where it'll say domain name lock on or off. And so you just wanna click the edit button to turn the domain name lock button off, okay? So it's gonna say on, just click edit and select off, okay? And then you wanna click here where it says get authorization code. And then when you go over to Namecheap, you just go to transfer to us, transfer domains. And so since Edge of David's already under the transfer process, I'll just put in a different example. So we'll just, we'll type in super uh, awesome.com. Okay, which super awesome.com. And then you just click enter and then it'll begin the process. So it'll say, Congratulations, your domain is eligible for transfer. That means it's within the 60 days of registration period or it's without outside the 45 days renewal period, okay? So that's the first one. But then you'll see right down here that the domain aim is locked. So that's why you have to go in and unlock the domain name as appropriate. And so again, as I said in the introduction, it usually takes like 10, 15 minutes for this to start coming up as unlocked. And then once it's unlocked, then you just put in the authorization code there and you get the authorization code right here with GoDaddy. Uh, With each domain name registrar, it's a little different. And then you just copy and paste the code in and then it costs eight eight something dollars, add to cart, pay your fee, and then that's it. And then the domain name will be transferred from GoDaddy to Namecheap. Again, as I said, it takes 
three to seven business days, depending on the registrar, because GoDaddy then has to release the domain name to Namecheap, so it's not an automatic process, but it's really that simple. It's That's all you have to do to transfer a domain name from one registrar to another in a nutshell. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, it really does, small things like that really do help my channel get more exposure. And I really appreciate the support I'm getting here on YouTube. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.